welcome back to a new week's vlog. Actually, you're probably like, well, on that last vlog, did you have on that sweatshirt? Honestly, I did, but I went home and I took it off because it was hot. But today, my it's saying my car is saying it's 58. So I went home that day and took it off because I was like, hell, I'm sweating. Today it's 58. I just don't know what's I thought it was spring, summer, all that good stuff. Anyway. I'm on my way. I have to run to Target. I want to pick up some hygiene items and you know how you get in Target and you pick up things you don't need. So we're going to try to stay on track. I normally have a list when I go in any store because I tend to get on track, y'all. If I see something, especially when I go in like little stores like Market Street, Trader Joe's, if I don't go with a list, they got so many little specialty items. Before you know it, you got items that you didn't come in for, and then you forgot the things that you came in for. So, yeah. So, I am going to go into Target, and I need to go into Walmart because I need a little notebook. Only thing I need in Walmart is a little notepad. I could get that in Target, but they are really close to each other. I find that Target don't have like the little writing notebooks that um, Walmart has. Yeah, there's just little things that I go in Walmart for now, like one or two items. I don't go into Walmart for no more than one or two items at a time. Actually, in any of these stores. I try to stop buying things that I don't need. I've really been on that type of thing since January. I've been on a no, I haven't been on a no buy. I've been on a don't buy it unless you need it type item thing. Even like at home, at home I like to have all of the essential things that I normally use and I, tr I try to, excuse me, I need to burn my water. I try to um, always have like a little bit more of something and just in case so I don't run out but lately I have been trying and my nails look terrible I'm doing my nails tomorrow I have been trying to really stay focused I have in like purchasing things because it's like Leslie why are you buying that do you need that and some because guys and I think that is all of us women when you have a home, you know, whether you live in an apartment home or whatever, it's like we buy things because we think, oh, I, don't, I need this, or I'm probably out of toilet paper, or I'm probably out of this. I have stopped doing it. That's why I take a note. I take um, a little notepad with me to the grocery store. And what I do before I go to the store, I write down what I need and what is like urgent. I don't buy things for next week, next month. I used to do a lot of that. I've slowed down from it because I would find myself with like an excess of like toilet paper, paper towels. It's like, it's only you in this house. You really don't need that much of something. So I've kind of toned it down. I, I'm not like running out of toilet paper tomorrow, but I'm talking about where I don't buy like months on a time. I make sure I'm within that month. I got enough to last me for that month. But I used to do SS of thinking that you don't want to run out of this. You don't want to, girl, no. Mm -hmm. And I know there's this theory about this whole thing that the world is not going to have any food and stuff. I watched one video and it was an actual, I think, but some pastor or prophet guy or somebody was talking about get enough food yes it was a pastor that I watched yesterday and he was talking about the food supply and all of that I'm just not gonna be fear mongered if there's no food for tomorrow God said that he would supply all of our needs according to his riches and glory I am not going to be over buying anything because I used to be like that and not because I thought there wasn't going to be any food or or any toilet paper or any soap or any whatever tissue I just bought a lot because I thought you know let's have this stuff at home but I don't slow down like I said I got enough for the month but that's it we, we're not going we're not spilling in the next month we're gonna we're gonna take this one one step at a time so yeah I am on my way to and that's my car chats, you know. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Leslie. I um, show my life daily, week 
weekly on these vlogs and I also do car chats where I just chit chat just talk to you about you know whatever's going on and I love this I don't know if you guys are loving it sometimes my vlogs go up and down sometimes I get pretty good views the next week it may not be that much mechanic guy that um, have worked on previous cars of mine. He is so nice looking. I was looking, his shop was not open and it's it's not quite five o'clock yet. So I was like, mm -hmm. maybe he closed it down because it was raining hard or something because it's been raining really bad. I don't know. But he's very nice looking. I think I don't know what he is, but Pakistan or I don't know what old dude is, but he is so fine. Even my daughter said that she said, Mama, that man is very nice looking. I was like, right, isn't he? She said he looks like some basketball player or something. If I find out what basketball player he looks like, I'm going to put him up on the screen. But he's he's an older man, though. He's not like a young man. He's my age. He's not like 20 or 30 or any of that. He's well in his 50. He owns this uh, mechanic shop that, like I said, he's worked on several of my cars. I've even referred my daughter, um just a lot of people I've referred to him I don't know if he know it but I always tell people about him but he's very very nice looking very nice looking yeah and he be looking too only thing is he don't say nothing and y'all know if 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 you don't say nothing I'm not saying nothing I I try talk I'm friendly you know but I'm not supposed to come on to no man mm -hmm. if you a man you make the first step if he ever ever say something to me honey i'm going on a date with him <laughs> oh he's very nice looking even my daughter said mama he is nice looking i said yes he is i said honey that's your stepdaddy no it's playing <laughs> but yeah so guys um the next time i probably won't take in walmart because i'm only going for one thing and that is a notebook but I'll probably take you into Target because we are going to go get some hygiene items and just some things I need, um, personal hygiene. Other than that, we don't need a whole lot at Target because as you know, I'm on this Rocky Road street again. I'm always on the street when I talk to y'all. I know my car was probably rocking and rolling. They are fixing something because it's like a two-way now. It's not even the whole... Matter of fact, let me turn you over so you can see. See how they're fixing all of that? They have it all. Yeah. They're like fixing the road, I guess. I don't... Yeah, they're fixing the road. It's a mess. But it's this whole street. I thought about it once I was already on it. Because I was thinking, why you go down that road? Because you know it's real bumpy. But I don't. I was already on it. But if I'd have thought about it, I wouldn't have came on this road. Because it's... It's way too much and they've been fixing it for a minute too it's a lot of construction and it's narrow because they got it like a you know a two-lane street now when it's actually three on this side and three on the other side and from three they made it a two-lane so yeah and it's bumpy as heck because they got all kind of patches in the road I guess they're trying to fix the, the streets So yeah, I'm going to go in Target. So the next time you guys will see me, it will be in Target. But I thought I would come on and say something before I go into Target and also explain why I got my same little sweatshirt on that I had on um, a few days ago. Because child, I took that shirt. I was like, ooh, child, is hot. So I went back in the house and took it off. And then um, wore it today. And it don't matter. I mean, you don't take a bath, you clean. Okay, I'm over here to get me some coffee to put in my um, machine. I buy sometimes the great value. It tastes pretty good. And I buy, I, from what I've heard from Starbucks, the, the blonder this is, the more caffeine. I used to think if I got dark, it would be more caffeine, but they said that's not true. So now I be getting dark. Here's, I don't want no dark and bold. That's in it, that's a little too much. I think, 
I got one of these already at home and now I don't even know which one it is and I'm about to run out. And I like to switch it up. So I think I'm a, I don't know. I'm probably getting the same one. But anyway, we're gonna get that one. And guys, that is all I have in my basket. I have bananas, I have some garlic, and I have this coffee. I got both of these garlics because I don't know the difference. Sometimes this one may be cheaper than buying this one. So I'm gonna put this one back. Yep. Ooh, that one don't look too good. Look at all them dark spots on that. Oh Lord, we gotta go back and change that one out. Hey babes, Sog. My grandbaby is on his way over. So I'm thinking about taking him to the park or somewhere. Cause as you can see, it is a beautiful day. If you see, I'm shining like diamonds. I have on my sunscreen cause I knew I looked at the weather and I think it's supposed to be like 86, 80 something. Well, I ran out to get me gas because once he comes, gas, I'll have to take him in, pay for the gas and then go back, you know, and pump my gas and I don't want to do all that. So I'm getting my gas before he gets here. His mom is on his way to bring him to me. And I know you probably say, well, girl, why are you going in there to pay for your gas? I never pay for my gas, guys. Um, at the pump. I stopped doing that a long time ago. No, it wasn't a long time ago. It was about like two years ago. Because I paid for my gas several different cities at different pumps and got scammed each time. It's like someone gets your card information when you pay for your gas at pumps. So I stopped doing that a long time ago. Now I go inside. I know it's a big, it's a huge inconvenience. It's a really big I was reading something on my thing. It's a really big inconvenience if you have the baby with you. If I don't have him with me, it's not. So I'm getting my gas before he gets here because we are gonna run some errands today. I do have a Walmart order to pick up. And um, I don't know, I'm thinking about taking him to the park or to the library or something today. We're gonna do something today for sure. Um, definitely after he gets his nap too because we're not going to do any of this before he takes his nap but after he takes his nap because granny got up got ready this morning before his mom is going to drop him off so yeah i'm all prepared and i'm telling you I, i'm learning as my daughter drops him off you know on the weekend with me i'm learning how to navigate through everything because as y'all know i'm a grandmother my kids are 30 five 30 years old or i think my son may be 36 child i'll be losing count but anyway my kids are older or old i must say i wouldn't say older my kids are old so i'm trying to figure out how to navigate around a toddler and oh yeah this is a good time to talk about this conversation i'm almost ready to get my gas but let's talk about this i was on YouTube the other day and y'all know YouTube will whatever you your topic is or you've been watching or whatever it'll start sending you videos with those topics well anyway a relationship video came up with um, some gentlemen and one of the guys said that when he's looking for a woman because they were all over 50 the guys so one of the guys said well i don't want no um woman that got her kid her grandkids being dropped off every weekend and i thought about that because i'm like my grandbaby comes over i wouldn't say every weekend but sometimes you know consecutive weekends and i keep my grandbaby a lot now because i'm not dating i'm not you know i don't have somebody now if i had a boyfriend or a husband or well if I had a husband it'd be different because my husband be at home but if I had a boyfriend and I needed to go out my grandson is not my child so I keep him when I want to so I'm not sure why that would be a problem to a man because your grandkids coming over shouldn't have anything to do with him so I thought that really selfish because I'm like I love my grandchildren so I'm not gonna not let my grandkids come over now if i have a date of course i have to tell my daughter uh -huh, your mama got a date so she ain't gonna be available this day or whatever 
you know, but I, I'm not sure why that would be a problem because the kids, the children are not mine. So I'm keeping them when I want to. So I'm not sure why. I'm, and if you want to chime in on that, if you, you know, if you're a male and you're watching, you're like, no, I wouldn't date a lady that has grandchildren. I'm not sure how that works. I, yeah, that sounds very selfish to me. Why wouldn't you want to date a woman that has grandchildren? Or if her grandchildren come over, they shouldn't have anything to do with you because if we're married, the kids can come over. Your kids come over. I mean, what, what would I tell him? Your grandkids can't come over our house. Now, if it was disrupting something that him and I had planned or wanted to do, I can see that. But, I mean, I'm not sure what would... I can't even get no gas right there. What is up with that? But anyway, I'm not sure why that would disrupt, you know, him saying, uh-uh, I don't want to date a woman. The guy grandkids coming over. I thought that was really weird. But anyway... I mean, that's like me saying, I don't want to date a man that his grandkids, I mean, if he has a daughter or a son and he allows them to come over. Now, I can see if it's every single weekend, if you want some resting time, time to yourself, you know, all of that kind of stuff. But if I was married and my grandson, which is a toddler, and, and my grandson came over, honestly, what I would do I gotta fix this. <laughs> and I say I gotta fix it because I, I didn't come up close enough. But what I would do is I would make sure that, you know, my grandson didn't bother my husband if he was sleeping. We would be in a whole nother part of the house or something. I would make it work where you know, I can understand that where, especially if they're toddlers, if they're seven, eight, maybe nine, ten, they shouldn't even probably be making no noise and that shouldn't disrupt anything that you and him have going on. Yeah. So if, you know, if his daughter, and that's something you have to think about too, when you're dating, if I date a man and he has a daughter or son and they have, um, young children I think what we would do is we would we would work that out it wouldn't be where I would say oh no your uh, daughter can't bring her kids over that would be something we both would have to discuss baby how about we keep all the grandkids one or two weekends out of the month you know but I wouldn't say he couldn't see his because I literally love my grandchildren and that is my seed that is you know that is a blessing to me. Like my grandmother loved me. One of my grandmother had to say it. I don't want to be bothered with your kids. No, I, I don't. But I can understand where if like maybe you have irresponsible uh, children and they are dropping their kids off every single weekend and like it's your responsibility and they're going out having fun or doing what they want to do and they drop so there that's why I'm saying it has to be where there's a time that you guys talk about that that's when you and her as a unit have to come together and say baby why don't we do this on this date or that date because I'm not going to allow my kids to disrupt my marriage or any of that but so that has to be something that him and I have to discuss. What days are we going to allow these children to come over? You know, yeah, I think that's a really good um, something to bring up, especially when we have adult kids, you know, and they have children or, you know, some I talk to a lot of people that don't have grandchildren yet, you know, but and I have met guys that do have um, grandchildren. But I know when I was dating my ex that I really, really liked, he had a grandchild. I think it was a granddaughter. I'm not really sure which one it was. But if I had have married him and he, his granddaughter or grandson came over, there is no way I would be like, mm. I mean, like I'm saying, so that it don't disrupt our lives, we do have to have that conversation of, baby, when are we going to keep these kids? Or when are we going to allow him or her to drop these kids off. You know, that's a discussion need to be made, not a discussion of someone saying, I don't want to deal with a woman to have grandchildren. That sounds ridiculous. It really does. This is 2024. So anyway, let me go in here and pay for my gas guys. And then I'll probably uh, bring you guys along 
when I uh, had my grandson with me. I'm not sure what we're gonna do today. I have errands, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna take him to the park or, but you'll see, whatever I decide to do, you will see it. All right. Okay, ciao. I am out of the Whole Foods. Like I told you, I only went in there for one item. It took me like less than two minutes. The Whole Foods wasn't full and I went through the drive. <laughs> Not the drive through. The, um, the whatever you call that, that you go through real quick. Y'all know what I'm talking about. When I edit it, I'm gonna be able to tell you when to do scan, self, self pay. Girl, she driving this big old Range Rover driving like she just got her driver's license. Y'all don't know why these people be driving like they just got their driver's license. But it's a Saturday and I'm, I have a grocery store um, pickup at Walmart. And so I am not going to go to HEB. It's, it's like this, I just can't do it. Not for two items. Just because I'm lazy to cut up garlic, no, I'm just not gonna do it. I'm gonna go get some garlic out of Walmart when I go pick up my grocery. Um, excuse me, when I go pick up my grocery um, order. Cause yeah, I'm not going to HEB just for some cut up. <laughs> it was a good thought until my grandbaby uh, had a little fit here. I'm gonna tell y'all what he just did. Okay, so he he went in the grocery store we didn't stay being for like five minutes because i just went for one thing because yeah, i don't sh i don't pick up no more than one or two items out of whole foods whole foods is too overrated they are way too expensive to buy groceries for me i just because it's the same groceries at another store and i i like heb and Trader Joe's better than I do Whole Foods. Whole Foods is a name because they got the same groceries in all other stores. But when I was looking for this alternative for the sour cream, it was only at Sprouts and HEB. And honestly, I'm not really sure. It said that it was like three Sprouts around me, but I have no idea where any of them are. And so since I didn't know right off the hand, I said, I know where Whole Foods at. And Whole Foods is a go in, go out type of situation. So I went to Whole Foods just for, um, just for, um, I'm just person blowing cause I got over. Just for, um, child, I'm gonna edit all that out of there. Cause I don't say it just for like three times. I just went in there for that sour cream alternative. Cream cheese, not sour cream. The cream cheese alternative was my reason for going there. And so it was really no sense, you know, to really go any, child, what am I talking about? I don't even know. We're we just going to edit all that out of there. But I'm not going to HEB for two items. So we're going to go in Walmart and then I'm going to take the groceries home. And I want to take my grandbaby to the park, but he just showed out. So I don't know if I'm going to take him. Nice plan. He just two years old. He don't know what he's doing. But um, I brought some little, his mom buy these little snack juices things for him. They're not juices. They like a little fruit, vegetable fruit kind of deal. But he sucks them out. And so I I got him one. We just left home and I, had, I gave him some fries. Because I wanted him to have something to eat. Because I've chosen today, him and I are going to go get something. Because I don't feel like cooking today and then cooking all this food tomorrow. So me and him going to get our little snack. Right? This like Chick-fil-A, Chipotle. I was thinking Chipotle would be a good little spot for me and him to sit and eat. Because we could like share a little. Because I don't think they have kid meals. Because True and not going to eat no whole big or nothing. But anyway, I'm telling you about the snack. So I was giving him one of his little snacks his mama got at my place for him. Well, he didn't want it when we were going into the store, but after we got home, he kind of showed out. I mean, got out the grocery store. He was like not wanting to walk. And, and what he'll do is I'll be like dragging him. And I'm like, true, no, I'm not going to do that. You're going to walk. And so he stood up and he walked. I'm pretty sure he looking because he know. He stood up to walk. And then we got in a car, you know, I was gonna give him his snack cause I'm like, okay, that's something he can eat in a car that he really won't make a mess cause they're like juice pouches. 
and so well child let me tell you he got that juice palace and he threw it across i was like for a minute i was like why did you just do that and what was that about and why would you do that because he was pointing down he wanted a snack but what i realized is he wanted the bread I bought some bread in there too. I was gonna get that Ezekiel bread, but it was another bread that was there. It said no cholesterol, no this, no that, no, it's organic. So I bought that bread to make my avocado toast because I was gonna get some bread. See, he heard that. That's what he want. So I was gonna get some of that at HEB, but I said, you know what? I'll just get it here because this is about the cleanest. Probably I can find some bread. With not without all them other unnecessary ingredients would be Whole Foods. Well, child, he knew it was in my bag. So he was pointing, but I thought he was pointing for one of his snacks. Let me tell you, I gave him a snack and he threw it across the car. I didn't even get mad. I said, I'm just gonna clean it up. You two years old. I'm, I'm just not gonna, I'm not. Ain't no use to get mad, child. It's kids. They are, he two years old. Now if he was, 10 and he knew what he was doing that might be a different story but he two years old he have no idea he doesn't know how to tell me what he want so since he doesn't know how to tell me he didn't want that pouch he just threw it that was his best way of showing me he didn't want it so i don't allow him to eat bread in the car because i'm just not fenced to i feel like i i do enough cleaning i'm a cleaning freak y'all and i don't like leaving anything if he was to eat bread in here i would have to go vacuum it out i'm not gonna do all that's too much so i have to go into walmart and i'm gonna give him a piece of bread as i go in the basket i'm gonna put him in a basket with a piece of bread and I'm gonna go in there and I need some bananas. And another reason why I was going to HEB and I should now, if I'd have knew that I wasn't gonna go to HEB when I was inside of Whole Foods, I would have um, bought my bananas. I don't like bana oh, Walmart's bananas. They never have really good looking bananas. The bananas are always not looking too good, but I'm gonna buy them in here. I need them for my smoothies and I know you can buy frozen bananas, but I got a thing with that. The reason why I'm kind of leery of frozen bananas because I remember one time I did buy the frozen fruit and it had bananas. Those bananas were so ripe and pretty in there, but when I freeze my bananas, they turn brown. So I'm wondering what do they put on the bananas to keep them turning brown? They weren't brown at all. So I was, I was like, nah, I'll just, you know. I just buy bananas weekly. I buy like three of them. And I uh, I put them in my smoothies. I buy, cause I know I'm not gonna eat no more than like two to three smoothies a, um, a week. I don't do smoothies every single day. What I do is I try to mix it up where I have a smoothie maybe on Monday and then a smoothie on Wednesday and then maybe a smoothie on Friday. On Tuesday and Thursday and Saturday um, I'll eat like mainly to be honest Saturday and Sunday I eat pancakes with him I ain't gonna lie I have a pancake with him and I never have no more than one or two pancakes and I make them probably about that size I don't make them very big I have like two pancakes and then I've been wanting to do some avocado but I didn't have any bread and I needed some of that cream cheese to spread on there too. I'm so happy I was able to find cream cheese without any dairy in it. Because now I know that my toast will be cholesterol free, my avocado don't have test cholesterol, and neither does the cream cheese. So I'm gonna feel really good about eating those cream cheeses now. When I was making them, I was using just the regular Philadelphia cream cheese, and it's loaded with dairy. And therefore, your cholesterol is going up. There's no telling what La La Lee got in there is the way it be so good, child. I know, that's why I'm trying to fix my food at home. And sometimes I go out like today, me and, the, me and the grandbaby going to get us something to eat somewhere. I made him some fries before we left, but he didn't, he didn't eat them. 
he just picked around at him, so that's why he's a little hungry. I'm gonna give him a slice of bread until we go eat. He can pick it like that sometimes. He didn't eat them fries. And they were, I put them in the air fryer. I tasted one of them, they was real good. They just seasoned fries, but he just didn't want them. But he seen that bread. He did, and that's what he was pointing. But he couldn't tell me. I didn't regular. It didn't click to me that he wanted bread instead of a juice. But I wasn't gonna give him bread in the car anyway. It's gonna have to be when we stop and go in somewhere, and he, he can just eat his bread in the basket. But welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Leslie. I do car chats. I do a day in my life, a week in my life. Sometimes I'm, I'm doing a little bit of anything, a little bit of any and everything. Okay, guys, I'm going to go ahead and click off because I think my camera trying to do some craziness and I really don't have time to like make it do anything right. I was going to show y'all me doing my little shopping, but I was only picking up two items. I got bread and cream cheese out of Whole Foods. That's all I got. So I didn't, I didn't show you that. I can show you when I get home, I can show you everything that I purchased, but now I'm about to go pick up my Walmart order and I am going to get some things out of here. Now, when I get home, I'm going to show you guys everything that I purchased once I get home. So let's go into Walmart and pick up a few items. Okie doke. Okay, folks, we done put the groceries up. I think the last part of this, you guys are going to see us at Chipotle. I thought since I, you know, I'm going to cook tomorrow, we would just grab us a bite to eat. So True and I went to Chipotle. True ate none of his food except for the rice. He refused to eat the beans and the meat and anything else. So he only ate the rice. I'm sure he'll be hungry again. So he's going to get bread tonight because Granny just gave him a whole plate of food. I, I could have taken it home, but we ate outside. It was very windy. And the top just flew off and we couldn't take it home. Plus, we're, we're headed to the library now. So that's what we What's going on? Oh, he's back there playing. He done cut up. That's what I got on here to tell y'all. He wouldn't eat none of his food. And he literally just showed out in this Chipotle. He fell out. It was this. True. True. He knew he's showing out. It was this um, Chinese couple or Japanese couple. They were sitting by us. And True just, when we got ready to go, he just fell out. He just, he wouldn't cooperate. And I was like, come on, True. I'm doing this gentle parenting. And so, I said, come on, True. Let's go. And he just falls out. He starts crawling, scrubbing his body against the floor, the nasty floor. So I just said, had enough. I was like, True, if you don't stand up. And he stood up, but he was still like mopping the floor with himself. I mean, just so I see what his mom goes through when she tries to take him out. But guys, I just didn't want to go home and cook two days in a row. I'm cooking tomorrow. So I didn't feel like cooking today. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to just make sure that I have food cooked. I cannot take him anywhere because he literally showed all the way out. I mean, to where I'm literally having to just and I mean, he's laughing and giggling. He playing. He just, he didn't want to get in the car. But we were done. We were on to our next destination. So it gets it very difficult to take him from one place to another. So when I got in the car, because he crawled all the way to the car. So once I got in the car, I said, now I see what your mom will be going through. Because you, you literally can't take him to several places. One place is about the most you can take him. Two places, three places. Yeah, you, you, you cut it real close. But yeah, he showed out. And I'm going to take him to the library only so he can get tired out. Because you know they have the little kitty area in the library. 
So I'm going to take him to the library so he can get really tired out because it makes zero sense to take him home right now. It is 5.50. Well, you know what? It's a Saturday. So I'm not really sure what time the library closes on a Saturday. I didn't think about that. They might be already closed. We might be... Oh, they might be already closed. Because I remember the last time. It made no sense to... I'm going to just, since I'm halfway there, I'm going to go ahead and go and see if they close. It's a park right next to, but I don't feel like no park. I'm tired. I done ate the Chipotle, and I'm telling you, it's got me tired. Honestly, I feel like going to sleep, but I know he don't. So I would like to, I really, honestly, I shouldn't have ate that Chipotle. It's, I feel like I'm just ready to take a good old nap. I should have eaten something light. So I think the library is about to close. But oh, what I got on here to tell y'all was, well, he showed out. And I didn't get to show you my groceries that I got because it was a fail, guys. Let me tell you, I sent Walmart a... I did a review, but I'm going to um, call them because I got footage, but I'm not going to put it online. I think that I'm just going to show it to a Walmart. Managers don't really care, so there's no sense in Walmart managers could care less. But I'm going to keep that footage. I recorded, it was three individuals that came to bring me my um, groceries. And they were just talking and chatting and cursing. So really I could care less to just put my groceries in the car. So as they were putting, I asked them to put them in the back seat because my trunk is kind of full of junk. It really is. I, stuff that I really need to get out of my trunk that probably need to go in the trash can. Um, so I asked them to put it in the back seat because my back seat and that other part is clear. It don't have nothing back there. So I asked them to put it in my back seat and they closed my trunk. They still putting it in the back. And so it was taking them a long time and I didn't have that many groceries. It was taking them a really long time. I probably had about, um, I don't know, maybe four or five bags. So <clears throat> they would put my stuff back there and I was looking in my rear view mirror at them. It was, a, it was a young lady with a wrap around her head. Um, I don't know if she's Indian or what, but she had a wrap around her head and it was two guys with her. And so she was laughing and giggling and looking at my car and it was all cursing. And so <clears throat> I knew something had happened with my car. I said, these kids gonna scratch my car. And I said, what I'm fixing to do is I'm fixing to get out and I'm just going to this Walmart. I thought maybe they had scratched it with that basket that they had because it was something. Cause she was looking at my car and looking at the guys and they was get laughing and giggling and they thought they would just walk off. And so I said, bull crap. So I turned my camera on cause I was already recording. I, I turned it off of that and then I turned it on another one so I could record what they were doing. So I got out and I said, excuse me, I think this is my turn, I think, I think this is. So I got out and I said, excuse me, I said, what did you guys do to my car? I hadn't even seen it yet, but I did not want them to walk away and I not get a good look at them or a picture of them. So they, they came back and he said, so I said, what is this? You could see it, it was all over the, the back of my car. It was actually, I had bought some hand soap. It was hand soap all over my car, but I was scared. I was like, oh my gosh, is this something like they won't be able to wipe off? So I called them back. I was like, what is this all over my car? It was all over the back of it. And so they were like, oh, I don't know. And I said, you have to, because it was wet. And I had just left one grocery store and there was nothing on my car. So I know it happened with them. And so they came back and they were like, oh, I don't know what it is. The guy started smelling it. He said, oh, it, it smells like some liquid, some dish liquid or something. So let me tell y'all. I wish True would let me tell this. Shh, True. So they had dish liquid all in my back seat. 
all on the floor. It was all over the bags. It was it was a total mess. So I cleaned it up because I don't want it to dry in my car. And you know what? After I went on there to take reviews, they had somewhere for me to do pictures. And child, I done cleaned it all up. But um, I videoed them because I was asking them what did they do. They knew they had done something. I knew they had done something because the girl was looking at my car and she was laughing and they was all looking at each other. So I know something had gone down and that's why I got out the car. It's just ridiculous. And this is why I don't shop at Walmart. I, if there was a reason why I did a Walmart order and the reason why I did it is because I had, it, like, it looked like the library clothes it was like two people over there um but guys i'm gonna sit here and tell y'all the rest of this story hold on let me you know what we just gonna go to the park i would have brought his yeah the, the library is closed everybody leaving the library i would have um brought his ball or something but we gonna go over here to the park because he, he got to burn off this energy that he got yeah it's this is a huge park but I don't see. Oh, yeah, I see a swing. Cool, cool, cool. There's a swing. Bye -bye. Um, so let me let me finish telling you of this story. So they start wiping the stuff yeah, off of my car because I got wipes and stuff. So I'm giving them wipes. Yeah. They wiping it all off of my car. And this is why they were laughing and giggling, y'all. They thought it was funny and they were just gonna walk away and act like it never happened. But what were they going to think when I got home when all of those bags in my car was soaking wet with dish, with hand soap. It was hand soap. It wasn't the dish liquid because I ordered hand soap and dish liquid. And I was going to tell y'all the reason why I end up shopping at Walmart because y'all know I don't want to shop at Walmart no more. I shopped in Walmart because I had a digital gift card and I needed to use it. And so I said, you know what? I'm cooking and I can use all the items that I need to cook and I can do a pickup order. So that's what I did. I never would have spent money because I don't do it anymore. I honestly used to buy all of my groceries at Walmart. I never do pickup orders because I like to go in and buy my own groceries. The only reason I did, like I said, because it was a digital gift card and I needed to use it. And it was a fail. It was a fail and it was the worst decision because now I wiped it up with the wipes, but I now I gotta go and clean up all the soap in my back seat. It's like, y'all knew that had busted. Why didn't you go back in that store and get sacks? I mean, the thing to do, the child. Yeah. Yeah, that's what it was. And I got out, if I had never gotten out the car, I'd have gotten home, and I just would have noticed it once I got home. But I wanted them to acknowledge that they had done that. And they, because they were all laughing and giggling and cussing, and it was a bad group. I've never seen, and especially, um, well, I know anybody can do anything and be any kind of way. Normally, young ladies or women or whatever that wear those head wraps, I don't know if they're Muslim ladies, they are normally so quiet and sweet. That lady was doing a bunch of cussing. Yeah, she's, they all looked young. They all looked like they was probably about 18, 19, no more than 20. Yeah, they were all very young, but they were cursing. And like I said, I could care less about their profanity, the cussing. What I do have a problem with is you wasting it all over my car and on the inside of my car. But as y'all can hear, my grandbaby is really cutting up. He is ready to get out of this car. I am going to wear him out at this park. I am going to swing him and wear him out. And then we're going to go home and take him a bath and he's going to go to sleep. So anyway, y'all, yeah, that was a fail. But I am going to contact their customer service and tell them my experience and how all my stuff was wasted. So all of my groceries, I had to rinse them off. So I wasn't going to film that because that just would have been too much. And filming, I mean, I film when I want, you know, you film it for aesthetics. You want to say, oh, I got my groceries. This is what I got. I had soap everywhere. So I had to rinse off. I had frozen fruit for my smoothies. So I had to rinse off all my frozen items before I could put them chose a miss it was but there's true true you see true true won't eat none of his chipotle food what eat the beans no 
it's not the honey tree. You need to eat. No! It's good. No! eat the food. True only ate the rice. <laughs> but you know what? We're going to take it home because you're going to get hungry. <laughs> Little Miss Independent. He wants to do it all by himself. Hey, bring the baby. Thank you, Jesus. Huh? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Boy, you a mess. So I'm eating my smoothie and watching service. Barbara, you're going to do really good. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. Good job. Uh, Granny just going to clean you up. Uh, yeah. yeah, Granny just going to do you a little clean up. Your mama can take you to the, the barber and let the barber make you all nice and handsome. But you're doing very good. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Let's take it down. A little more. That was a. That was a. Or let's fade it in. Let's do a. You're like, Granny, get down here where you are. <laughs> a little bit around the edges so we can fade it in. Good job. Good job. Such a I'm making these, I'm making the dinner, and True smells it. I gave him a piece of bread. He threw that bread down. He said, uh, uh, smell too good in here for him to just be getting bread. Salisbury steak. 
We got some more gravy on the side, uh, heating up, cooking the rest of my gravy. I put some in it. I have an overflow in here, but I'm just making enough right now for me and my grandbaby. The rest, I'm gonna, well, I'm not the rest, but I'm gonna send some home with him and then I'm gonna have some for the week as well. So that's what we're cooking up today. Some good old Salisbury steak. Guys, I tasted this. It tastes delicious. Oh my gosh. Mm. 